Hi guys, Jennifer here with a whole lot of love and today I'm going to share with you my, well it started off as my top 10 but it's going to be my top 12 must haves for the winter season. It is still super cold here in Michigan. The snow is completely outrageous. I've never seen anything like this in my lifetime. So I've been wanting to do a video like this for some time so I figured better late than never um, because we have a few months left of winter um, and you might even be experiencing some cold weather down south or in other parts where you live um, and these are just my must-have essentials so to get through the season so let's go ahead and get started the first thing is water I it is so dry and going in and out of buildings and in and out of the house and all that I basically fill up a water bottle. This is a stainless steel water bottle and it goes with me everywhere and I'm constantly sipping on it and drinking on it. I can flavor it with mint, lemon, or lime or any other thing if I choose to but I just try to stay very hydrated um, because I notice if I don't my throat gets really dry and I get a lot sluggish. So that's number one. Number two is investing in good oils. I've actually tried this um, rose hip oil. It has a lot of vitamin E. I've been trying this at night, and basically I just massage it all over my face. Um, it's great for dry skin. It's great for fine lines and wrinkles. Um, highly recommend it. Um, you can use any oils, um, macadamia nut oil, coconut oil, olive oil, whatever oils that you um, love, argan oil, but I would highly recommend getting an oil and using it to help with winter hydration of the skin. The next thing is lip balm. Looking for a good lip balm that doesn't dry out your lips and is very moisturizing is hard. And I actually found this ESO, which I've talked about in several of my videos, which is very great. It helps with chapped lips. It helps with dry lips. Um, it's just great. My family, they all get one. We just use it throughout the season whenever our lips feel dry. Um, so just really try to find one that's very moisturizing. Number four, scrubs. Um, my skin gets very dry. Um, in the winter. So with that being said, I need scrubs that I can be able to exfoliate all over my body. And then I also have a facial scrub that I use too. I don't use it every day, but frequently when I feel like I'm getting dry patches on my elbows and knees and hands and feet and even on my face, I use it. So investing in a good scrub is essential. There's so many scrubs out there and you can even make your own scrubs. There's a lot of DIY videos online, um, even on Pinterest. But if even if you can just keep it in your shower or bathtub and use it a couple times throughout the week, that's going to help with dry skin. The next thing is investing in a good tea. Now teas that I like to keep on hand during the winter are... Um, this lemon ginger tea to help with um, stomach bugs. If I feel like a stomach bug's coming on or my stomach feels crampy, I love to use this. The next one is this organic throat coat from Traditional Medicines. Um, right now I'm battling a cold right now, so I've been sipping on this great tea for that. So I would highly recommend that to help with it. And then this green tea from Yogi, super antioxidant tea. Um, it helps um, load your body up with a lot of antioxidants, which are perfect and great for the winter months. The next thing is, number six, is a hand lotion. I've talked about this, I believe, in my January, maybe my February favorites, is this Avalon Organics Aloe Unscented um, Hand and Body Lotion. I use it, I keep this at my desk, and I basically, every time I'm there, I'm lathering up on this. It has aloe, which aloe is very moisturizing to begin with because we put aloe on sunburns to help with the sunburn um, to soothe it and to prevent it from drying out and making it our skin tight. So, highly recommend just finding a good, you know, hand and body lotion. Perfect stuff. The next thing, and I can't stress this enough, is investing in a humidifier if you don't already have one installed in your furnace. Um, I use this one from Vix, and basically you fill this whole blue contraption up with water, and you run it. You can run it on high or low, and you run this. I try to run this throughout the day. Um, I have a couple of these throughout my home in the winter, and I just run them constantly. So they have filters in them that you have to replace. Um, and you just basically fill it up with water, you put the cap on, you put it on, and it just is so helpful to, for dry skin and to moisturize, you know, your throat and your nasal cavity and all that. 
The next thing is investing in a good moisturizer. Um, you need a moisturizer that's going to be able to seal in any of the moisture that you have left in your face. So there's a lot of different moisturizers out there, so you just basically have to find one that's great for your skin. Um, I'm right now trying this Derma E Anti-Defying Night Cream. And it is, this is going to be, I think, my new favorite. It has a scent of lavender in it, which actually relaxes me at night. But I've been using this, even though it's a night cream during the day, because my skin has been that dry. And it does, it's not that thick. Like, once you put it on, it's just literally my skin just sucks it all up because it's so dry. So invest in that good moisturizer. The next one is kind of ties in with... Um, Hand care is a good body lotion. Um, so make sure you have that hand cream and that good body lotion. Um, the next thing, number 10, is investing in a good pair of gloves. Um, I have so many pairs of gloves all over my home and in my car. Um, just getting a good pair of gloves to help protect your hands and a good scarf. Um, I'm using this right now. I'm using this like kind of knitted infinity scarf and it keeps my throat warm and then this infinity scarf which is nice if I I have a hoodie on my jacket but sometimes I can wrap this around like around my ears if the wind's blowing and around my face so this is a great scarf to have the next thing is loading up on fatty um, acids um, amino acids salmon olive oil and almonds I don't have anything to show you but just loading up on those um, those three foods are so rich in um, fatty amino acids they're great you know if you eat salmon load up on it at least once once or twice a week I highly recommend that you get wild caught and not farm raised the next thing is almonds using the almonds and as much meals as you can and snacking on them I snack on almonds throughout the week and then olive oil. I've been cooking with a lot more olive oil than usual just because it's been winter. So loading up on those three things is essential during the winter months. And the last thing is getting a, moisturize, a moisturizer slash hydration body wash. Right now I'm using this shower gel. It's citrus. It's uplifting. It has fruit stem cells. It's from Andalou Naturals. And this is very hydrating. And so I would highly recommend getting a good body wash or even a soap that's very moisturizing and is not going to dry out your skin. So anything with dyes in it or alcohol is not going to be good. Um, you want something that's going to clean your body, moisturize it, and hydrate it. And then you're able, when you get out of the shower, you can either lather up, lather up with the oils after you pat dry with the towel, lather up with those oils, and lather up with your good body lotion so you can seal in that moisture. So I think that is it. That is all 12 of my must-haves for the winter. If you have any comments or any suggestions of things that I need to add to my list, please put it in the comments below. And if you'd like to see more videos like this or similar to this about beauty and essentials, I'm thinking about doing one in the spring, so let me know. Um, I'll try to get that out a little bit earlier than my winter essentials. And um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And remember to subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon.